If you are going to be starting A-level maths in September, then we have a lot to talk about. There is um, a bit of a problem, but we have time to fix it. Now, if you're one of the students that finished the whole course and then sat assessments, proper exam papers, um, even if they weren't exams at the end of the course, then believe it or not, you were one of the lucky ones because you will be at an advantage when you start in year 12, when you start your A-levels. If you're one of the people that missed a section of the course or didn't get taught a section of the course because of the situation with homeschooling and lockdown, then you are going to be at a disadvantage next year because while your teachers know this and remember this, um, the A-level course is very fast. There is a lot of content in the A-level course. And if you do not know or remember or understand everything from GCSE, then you are going to be at a disadvantage. Especially if you're moving um, for sixth form, if you're going to college and the teachers don't know you, they don't know exactly which bits you missed out. Um, or if there was something, a particular reason why you missed something and somebody else didn't, or if there was a particular topic that you kind of skipped over and it wasn't in the final assessment, but you didn't 100% understand it, then we're going to have a problem. Because when you go into year 12, you'll be starting year 12, not having had a proper year of schooling since year 8. So your year nine. So your year um, 10 would have been disrupted, your year 11 would have been disrupted. So we're starting year 12 with two years of disrupted learning behind us. Um, and everyone is gonna be affected by this slightly differently. Now, every single year, every single normal year, when I get a new year 12 class, they've kind of forgotten stuff because they assume that the A-level is a new course and that it doesn't really relate to the GCSE anymore and that's not true. A-level builds on all the skills from GCSE. Now in an ideal situation every single student that took A-level maths would start the course understanding everything at GCSE perfectly but we do not live in an ideal world and that never ever ever happens. However this year we are going to be even further behind but do not worry because there is a lot you can do about this and I have a plan in place for you and I have a course in place for you and the course is 50% off so it will cost you less than going out for lunch to get prepared for this and we have a lot of time for you to get prepared for this so what I have done is I've taken all of the bits of further maths GCSE now there isn't technically a further maths GCSE. There are lots and lots of different things like AQA has level two or there's the IGCSE in pure maths or there's the level three in uh, further supplementary additional maths, I think. I always, no, freestanding maths qualification. That's what it stands for. I always get that wrong. So what I've done is I've taken all of the further maths courses and I've combined all of the topics into a summer start for A level maths course because there is no set things that go into a further maths GCSE GCSE um, the content behind that the content across them is very very different so by doing all of the content for all of the further maths courses what we are doing is we're taking the harder stuff from GCSE and we're expanding that a little bit towards A level the easier stuff from GCSE and explaining it in a way that GCSE students can understand it. So throughout the course there are the videos explaining the new topic or taking a topic you already know and making it that little bit harder and then there are a load of questions to check and see if you understand it. Um, there are loads and loads of things to keep you busy, to keep you occupied. So now I know there is a long summer holiday and other people are still going to be at school and people at home, maybe at work, and there may be days when you get bored of sitting around the house. Well, this is something that you can do that is going to be proactive, that is going to be productive, and it's going to really, really put you in a good position for starting A-levels next year. Now, even if you don't fully understand absolutely everything on the videos, when your teacher then comes to explain that concept in year 12, it will be familiar to you. It won't be the first time that you are learning something. So you'll be ahead of where everyone else in the classes. So um, this is a really, really good thing for you to do. Now, even if you don't wanna pay for the course, the videos are still up on my YouTube channel 100% free. 
free. So you can go and watch those playlists um, and then just try the questions, try the examples in the playlist. And then if you want more examples, you can go and pay five pounds over on my website for the course. And then of course, we have the A-level maths course and the A-level biology course and the A-level chemistry course and nearly the A-level psychology course, which will uh, definitely see you sorted for next year.